Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix with Anatra and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can easily copy color grading from one image to another with just Photoshop. So this is for those people that don't have caption and maybe you have seen an image on Instagram and you love the colors or the colors within the skin tone and you want to apply it to your own images in Photoshop. So if at all this is what you have always wanted, I request that you hit the like button. So hitting the like button on this video is going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to so many people out there so without further ado let's get started with this very tutorial so you can see that we have two similar images and i just wanted to use this as a reference you can see the two images are close or they even look alike in this case so let me just turn this off and you can see that this is the image you're going to be pasting the colors onto and this is going to be more of our reference image so you can see you're going to be using the gradient map option within Photoshop to copy or steal color grading from this very image and apply it to the skin tones of this very image in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to come and delete this gradient map layer and also come to this reference image and also delete this. So like I said, you come to the image from which you want to copy the color grading and later on we're going to be saving our gradient map as a preset within photoshop so that we can just import it and use it later on on our images so like i said you come to our reference image or the image from which we want to copy the color grading and simply come to the adjustments right here and come to gradient map so as soon as you click on that make sure these two options right here like the dither and the reverse are not selected or checked and come and turn off or hide the gradient map option this time around make sure you select the gradient map icon and not the layer mask so make sure you select this icon instead and with this done you can now come and single click on this option or this color option right here and it's going to open up the gradient editor so just want to map the colors within the skin tones of this image so with this you can see the gradient map usually runs from the shadows we have the midtones and the highlights because this is an inverted one that is why the darkest part is this side but don't mind about that so just come to this option or this pointer and simply click on that color stop so you can either double click on it or use this long process by simply single left clicking and come coming and clicking or you left click on this color icon so this time we're just going to look for the darkest part of the skin tone in this case so for this case i'm just going to be using this as my darkest point and single click and simply come and click on ok then i'm going to come to the brightest part within the skin tones by simply left clicking on that area and simply left clicking on the color icon and coming to the brightest point of the skin tone so i'm just going to be using this as a reference as my brightest point of the skin tone and simply click on ok then I'm going to create a point in the middle by simply single clicking and coming to this other option and clicking on the middle color. I'm just going to be using this as the mid tone or the midpoint color and simply clicking on OK. So you can see that we have successfully gotten the colors from this area from, for example, the darkest area within the skin tone to the mid tones and also the highlights. So if at all you want to save it as a preset, you can simply come right here and simply click on the new option right here. And you can see it is going to automatically be saved within your gradients. So you can see that it has saved the preset within the gradient maps and it is under golden. So wherever you save it, always look for it under the golden option. And you can as well rename it if at all you wanted to before clicking on this option so what i have done that come and simply click on ok so our gradient map has been saved so how to achieve or apply it on our other image simply come to the image that you want to color or to color grade then come right down here and come to gradient map and when you come to gradient map simply single click right here and scroll all the way down to where your gradient map preset was saved and simply click on it so you left click on it and simply click on ok and that is going to apply the gradient to the overall image remember we just want to 
do the color grading on only the skin tone so we're just going to come the blend mode and change it from normal and this time around you can either use soft light as a blend mode or you can as well use the color blend mode depending on what is going to be working best or better for you so let me just first of all try the soft light blend mode and with that done i'm just going to select the white layer mask and simply invert the effect so make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl i on the keyboard for pc then if at all using mac you can use it you can use command i and that is going to invert the color from the overall image so come under the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool so make sure the settings the hardness of your brush is at zero percent and make sure you get the opacity to 100 percent the flow to a hundred percent and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches right here so if at all the color swatches are showing a different color you can click on these two tiny boxes and that is going to reset them to black and white then also if at all you want to switch in between black and white you can use x on the keyboard so pressing x is going to switch between black and white or you can use the arrow keys to switch in between black and white so make sure you have white on top remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the color grading that we did on the skin tones was hidden behind this black mask so using a white brush as white is a foreground color in this case you can now come and paint in the color grading onto the skin so i'm just going to come and start painting the color grading or the coloring on the skin remember i'm just copying and applying the color grading onto the skin so just come and paint in the color that you want in the areas that have skin so you have to take your time while doing this because sometimes you don't want paint away from areas that have skin you have to keep in or within the areas that you want to apply so i have basically done a rough job so if i told you i've painted away from uh, the skin area you can switch the brush back to black and have black on top and that can help you rub or erase the effect from the areas you may not have wanted to color grade or paint the skin color effect of the gradient map that we've created so you can switch back to white and paint in the areas that you may have missed out and you can erase using our black brush and that is going to erase and you can paint or keep on switching and paint using a color of your choice depending on your progress as you're trying to paint within the image so for this case you can see that we have also color graded the eyes which you don't want we're just going to switch back into black and make sure the black is on top and that is going to help us rub or erase the color grading from the eyes or even the makeup or even the lipstick of the model in this case and you can see this looks okay so like i said we have two blend modes that may really help us work on the image so like i said we can either use soft light or you can either come and use the color blend mode so i prefer the color blend mode because it is looking a little bit more on the natural side so make sure you choose the one that works best for you as a photographer or as a person trying to do the color grading so i prefer the color blend mode is a little bit better natural and a little bit more on the realistic side so you can see this is the before or we have copied the colors from this image and we have been able to apply it to this very image and it's looking way better and natural and when you feel like it is too much for your liking just come to the opacity and simply reduce or drop down the opacity of your color grading then if at all you want it to be a little bit more on the natural side you can either come and take it away from the shadow so it can blend in more in the shadow areas by double clicking on this gradient map layer and coming to the blend if all layer style dialog box then come and make sure the blend if is gray and come to the underlying layer and simply take it out from the shadow areas just like that until it looks better or a little bit more even 
and you can now split this by holding down the option or alt keys and you can split this so that it can look a little bit more fine and blend in more within the image and simply come and click on ok so this is the before and this is the after before after and you can see we have been able to copy the same and exact colors from this very image and apply them to this very image in just photoshop so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more amazing trials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating